I have a son that has autism. Mm -hmm. I want him to be more focused, mm -hmm. to pay more attention, to be more aware mm -hmm. of his surroundings and where he is. When you're a mom and you're looking for a way to improve the life of your child or probably improve your life, there is no way you won't go. I just have one principle in life for parents that have children with autism. So if you want your child to be independent and you want your child to live a full potential life, you have to give them the possible best you can. Can you introduce yourself, tell us your name and where you come from? Hi, um, my name is Uju. I come from California. I live in California, so we made a trip down here. Can you tell us about your health issues and challenges that you experience in day-to-day -day life? Um, I had diabetes. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only thing I have. Um, so I'm looking for anything and any procedure that can help reverse it because I'm on medication and insulin and it's not something I want to do for the rest of my life. So if there's a treatment out there that is promising to help reverse or minimize the effects of diabetes, I will take it and that's why I'm here. Great. Um, can you tell me, did you try any kind of other uh, interventions or procedures, treatments no. before? No. Um, apart from the medication and the insulin given by my doctor, uh, this is the first a different approach I'm taking. And uh, can you tell me where did you heard about, if you remember, about the stem cells? Actually, um, I have a son that has autism mm -hmm. and uh, I read a lot about treatment options or therapy options and I came across um, stem cell for autism. Mm -hmm. So I started reading a lot about it. And I watched your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of good testimonials about it. And I did, did my research, I contacted your office, I contacted the Stem Cell Institute in Panama. Mm -hmm. So your office sent me like a treatment plan, and uh, Panama sent me a treatment plan, but I liked this one better. So. I, I went with you guys. Mm -hmm. So um, while I was researching for treatment for um, autism, there's a lot of treatment, stem cell treatment for other options mm -hmm. um, for diabetes. So mm -hmm. that's why I sought the, the treatment too. Thank you, um, Can you describe us? You mentioned your son has autism and that you were primarily looking for a treatment for him. Can you tell us uh, what, was he, what was his symptoms and challenges that he faces in the current phase? Oh my god. Um, hmm. I think his primary challenges right now is focusing, mm -hmm. lack of attention, mm -hmm. and a lot of repetition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he kind of repeats everything he does. Mm -hmm. And um, I want him to be more focused, mm -hmm. to pay more attention, to be more aware mm -hmm. of his surroundings and where he is. He's now verbal, he's now mostly compliant, um, he's growing. So I wanted him to have a behavior that is more appropriate with his age. Mm -hmm. That means focusing, being aware, listening to instructions and following instructions. So that's why we're here. Have any concerns or uh, doubts about stem cell therapy before you decide? Like, like everything new, you're going to have doubts about it because you didn't witness it firsthand. Um, but I have hope. Mm -hmm. We just started the treatment, so I know they said you're going to see changes hopefully within a couple of months. Mm -hmm. So I'm still hopeful. Uh, I can't have that at the beginning stage, so I have to wait and see. Good, good. Mm, did you maybe discuss your, uh, the idea of receiving stem cell treatment with your doctor or your medical practitioner in your home country? No, I didn't. Um, I did discuss it with one of my son's therapists, which is like a family member right now, mm -hmm. and she's very knowledgeable and extensive in, mm -hmm. in, in 
autism therapies. So I asked her, I said, hey, I've heard about this. What do she said, oh, I have one family that swears by it that is really good. That's what she told me. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I'm looking into it. She said, yeah, you can, you can try it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, because it's, it's not vastly known, and especially we don't have like this kind of stem cell therapy in America. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people kick against something they don't know. Mm -hmm. Many people say it is not scientifically um, proven, but I watch testimonies and I read about it and stem cells seems to be working. So I don't know what other scientifically proven that they're looking for. So I don't know. Mm, how did you overcome apprehensions or concerns traveling to another country and in your case to another continent to receive treatment um, <laughs> when you're a mom and you're looking for a way to improve the life of your child or probably improve your life there is no way you won't go mm -hmm. you go miles and miles and miles to achieve what you wanted so i mean yeah serbia is a different i haven't been to serbia before i i haven't even heard about belgrade mm -hmm when I, before I started researching about it. So, um, yeah. Great. That's a great answer, actually. Can you share us, with us your experience at Swiss Medica? Um, did you feel that the procedures were safe? Um, in your, this clinic? In this, in this clinic? clinic yeah. um, your honest opinion. Um, oh yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I'm African, I don't, I, we don't, we don't say things we don't mean. <laughs> So um, in this clinic, I don't know about any other place, I am completely satisfied with the services we are receiving. Um, the doctor, they go through the step with you, they explain what your treatments are. Uh, the nurses, um, the I, I had Dr. Ada, Dr. Ada, that's my doctor, and she went through every protocol, everything with me to let me know what and what we are getting, what we are expecting and what we're supposed to do. So um, I think it's, it's good. The nurses are actually very friendly and they are good as well. The food is good. The coordination is amazing. You guys are doing a good job because this morning I, I didn't I didn't know they were going to deliver breakfast because I didn't I didn't say anything yesterday and then Somebody knocked at my door and delivered breakfast. I said, oh, so they know I wasn't coming in early today. So I think the coordination is, is great. Thanks so much for that compliment. Um, can I ask, out of all options available, um, why did you choose Swiss Medica? You mentioned that you were considering Panama as well. When I received the treatment plan for you guys and for Panama, uh, yours was very comprehensive. Um, in the quantities of what they are offering. I think Panama was offering like 100 million of whatever stem cell you're gonna get. And based on my, um, my boy's weight and everything, you guys were offering 150. And Panama was offering um, the, intra, um, the infusion. Mm -hmm. But you were offering infusion, injection, and, and inhalation. So I think that's, that's the difference. Yeah, so that, I mean, I don't know if they're going to offer it later in Panama, but in the treatment plan, they didn't, they didn't say that. But in your treatment plan, it said that. So, of course, you're going to go where you're going to have more options and more. And the deal breaker the was comprehensiveness of the... Yeah, I think yours was more comprehensive than theirs. Copy that. Um, and uh, one thing that I like to ask at the end, um, for the parents and patients, for example, you yourself have, have diabetes, um, what would you, what would be an advice that would you give to the people with diabetes and uh, parents with uh, kids? Such as, such as your son, you know, the autism inspector, uh, where you share some insights, could you give some advice to them? Um, for diabetes, um, 
I think it's what everybody that is diabetic knows. Eat well, exercise, take your medications. Um, I do exercise, I try to eat well, it's a challenge. Um, medication, I take my medication, but I don't want to be dependent on medication for the rest of my life. So that's why I'm seeking for another option. If it's going to reduce the amount of medication I take or reverse it with diet and restore the dead cells, why not give it a try? So that's my own perspective for people that have diabetes. You have to keep reading, you have to keep researching and find out new ways to make your condition better and not to accept that it's something you're going to do for the rest of your life. Yeah. And for autism, um, I just have one principle in life for parents that have children with autism. I know they say they are special. I agree they are special, but I don't treat them special. I treat them the way I'm going to treat any other person. And if you include them in everything, like inclusion really helps. So treat them like you're going to treat any other kid. Whatever you're going to do to other kid, do to them so they can learn. So because the world does not actually separate them. They don't treat them differently when they go out in the world, when they grow up. So if you want your child to be independent and you want your child to live a full potential life, you have to give them the possible best you can. And this treatment is one of the promising ones of living a fulfilled life, so why not? Thank you so much, Richard. You're welcome. This